हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफेक्टर इन दिस क्लास विल बी सेंग कन्वर्शन ऑफ डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप टू टी फ्लिप फ्लॉप सो लेट स्टार्ट द सोल्यूशन द टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम सिक्वेंशियल लॉजिक सर्किट्स द सब्जेक्ट नेम इज डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो वॉट वी नीड टू डू हियर वी नीड टू कन्वर्ट डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप टू टी फ्लिप फ्लॉप so what is given to us d is given to us d flip flop is given to us so we have drawn the logic diagram of the d flip flop d is having single input and two outputs q and q n bar and clock pulse a bubble is indicating that it is a negatively edged triggered flip flop so d flip flop is given now this d flip flop is to be converted to T flip flop. For this, we need an excitation table for the conversion. What the excitation table will have? It is having four columns. First is input, present state, next state, and flip flop inputs. So, what is the input? What we want to convert? D to T. We want to convert D flip flop to T flip flop. So, what is the input now? T. So, the input column is T. Present state is Q n. Next state is Q n plus one. And what is the flip flop input? Flip flop input is D. So here it is a single input, so we can write it as input D. Okay. So the four columns are input, present state, next state, and flip flop input. Now. For these two columns, we need to write the binary combinations. For two variables, we can write four possible combinations. So it's written as zero 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 one 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 one. Okay. So this is the binary combination of T and Q n. Now we need to write Q n plus one. To write Q n plus one, we have to know the truth table of T flip flop. Okay, what is the truth table of T flip flop? T means toggling. So whenever there is a change between when you are moving T Q N, no change. So no change means zero. For zero to one, there is a change. So it becomes one. One to zero, the output is one. One to one, no change. So output is zero. So two the T truth table is easy to remember. It is same as your XOR gate zero double one zero. So We can write it here. The truth table of T flip flop. What it is? Zero to zero, no change. Zero. Zero to one, one. One to zero, one. One one, no change. So zero. So after writing this, we now need to fill the D column. This flip flop input. For this, we need the excitation table of D flip flop. So what is D flip flop? Whatever is Q n plus one. The same is your D. So D excitation table, excitation. What is the difference between truth table and excitation table? In truth table, we write it between T and Q n. In excitation table, the columns inputs are Q n and Q n plus one. Okay. So now here we see zero 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 one one zero one one. So whatever is Q n plus one, the same will be for D, as you know. So D means delay. Just the delay is there, so it is for zero. It will appear as zero, one, one, zero, and this one will appear here. Okay, so whatever is Q n plus one, the D is the same. So we can write it here. Now, for writing the excitation table of D, there I have, have to refer the two columns Q n, Q n plus one. But as it is easy for D flip flop, that whatever is Q n plus one will be appearing for D. So we can easily write it is zero, double one, zero. So in this way we could complete the excitation table for the conversion. Now we need to simplify the K map for the D flip flop. Now we have to fill this um, bits in the two variable K map, which is drawn between T and Q n for solving for D. So what it is zero double one zero zero one. One zero zero one one zero in this way, and then if you do the pairing, it is coming two single groups. 
for this one it is coming to be as this is t and this is 0. So, t q n bar and this one is t bar q n. So, what is the d equation coming to be as t q n bar plus t bar q n. What it is the equation for xor gate t xor q n. So, that this is the d equation we got. So, at the d input what we need to connect an xor gate whose inputs are t and q n. So, at the d input we need to connect an XOR gate. The inputs here are one is a T, another one is Q N like this. Okay, so, at D input we have connected an XOR gate having the input T and Q n. So, in this way we can easily convert the D flip flop to T flip flop. I hope you have understood the class. If you have any queries you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.